and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I have some special diamond paintings to sort out. So while I was suffering from Covid, or after I'd had the brunt of it, <laughs> um, the don't want to move section, um, I did do quite a few of my special paintings. I can't remember if I'd finished my big one. I was working on Flying Feathers at the time um, and wasn't up for filming a kitten up of another one or whether I just wasn't in the mood for Flying Feathers and did some of the others. It might have actually been a mixture of the two. So anyway, I got a batch of special diamond paintings done. I also got an off the canvas done as well. So I thought I would show you slash get them tidied away because they have been out for far too long. So all the actual special diamonds for them have either been shoved into baggies or they've been shoved back into their original packets and they are just there about. So they're all going back in there. That is gonna be tomorrow's video's problem. Well, I've even got rubbish in there. The aim for today is to deal with these. And there's a few different things that I need to deal with. So one of the things that I did do, and I don't think I've coated this. Or did I actually? No, I didn't. So this is one of the items that I completed. I can't, act, I think it may have been coup deals. But this is like a wine and cheese sign. You can hang it up or you can just have it like this. This is something that I'm thinking of seeing if my sister-in-law would like. She is currently getting her kitchen done. Slash it has just been finished. There is a chain for it in here. Let me get out the chain actually. That's why this toolkit was in there because that is what this is. Now, I think I might need to put the rings on first. So if I can get the ring to go through the acrylic, which I can, it's actually bending it back, but I need to make sure I do right. And then this hooks on, and then the other side will hook on here, and it can hang up. So let's get the other side on, on, through, and squash back together. And then let's get this side hooked on. But one of the things I do want to do for this, because if this doesn't go in her kitchen, I might actually remove the chain and pop it up on the shelf in my kitchen. I want to seal this. Now, when I first grabbed this stuff to start this video, I didn't necessarily think I'd be sealing because I completely forgot that I'd need to seal this. And as I do every time, I don't wipe the lid <coughs> before I put my sealer away. So that just took a minute. Look, I'm actually getting through this. That took a minute to get in. So let me find my paint brushes. I know what pencil case they're in. It's this little one from Typo, or at least they were. Okay, that's not big enough. Oh, I think I actually do have, no, we, we'll use that one. I do have a big stocky brush that was given to me. Oh no, this is the one I often use. Um, I do have a big sort of stocky stipple brush as well that somebody gave to me. I think it was Melissa. I just can't remember where I've put it. Because every now and then I put things in a place that I think makes sense until I go to find it. And then it doesn't make sense. That or it's floating around in the drawer I've just got this out of, these this paintbrush out of and I've just not spotted it. So I'm going to seal this. While the glue on this was actually really good in the fact that it doesn't 
seep over the sort of diamond painting area hugely. There is still a little bit of it, a little bit of sticky. Some of some things I have seen that are a lot worse and a lot stickier. Um, where the section for you to glue your diamonds on is a whole lot bigger than it needs to be. But this one wasn't too bad. So I'm going to give this a seal and I'm going to leave it to the side because that is one. Ooh, that's a big amount. Let's spread that about a bit. Because this is something that needs doing. So let's just do it. Got quite a bit there, but this does dry clear. While I'm not trying to completely drench it in this sealer, because it helps it to last longer. And while it does make the diamonds go frosty when it's first put on, it does dry clear. And I find it's loads better. And by the time we've sorted out the other diamond paintings, it may well uh, be pretty much dried so you guys can see. But what I'm doing is I'm using my paintbrush in like a swirly motion. And the reason I'm doing that is where I want this glue to go is the back of the back of this that's still got um, glue on it. So I'm wanting it in all those little nooks and crannies in between the diamonds so that it won't end up picking up bits of fluff and dust and just looking like a big dust catcher by the time, by the time I'm done. Uh, by the time it's been hung up on a wall for a few days. So I'm going to have to pause the video to go and wash my paintbrush when I'm done. But as soon as it's washed, I will be straight back at it to deal with the others. So you'll get sort of uh, however long this video ends up being to see how dry this gets by the end of it. And I've just stuck my finger in the paint and I was trying to hold on to bits that aren't, that don't have diamonds on. Because there's all this background here does not have diamonds. And because it doesn't, it doesn't have sticky either. So it has just got poured glue where it's needed. Okay, so to me, that's coated. Some of this is starting to dry, but not too much. It really depends how thick I put it on in the first place. Just making sure I have got the edges around items, because it's not only the bits in the middle of the diamonds, it's the bits around the edge of each section that could potentially have glue on. So to show you, close up, can you see it's quite milky, frosty, not really got loads of sparkle. It's a little bit more sparkle starting to show up here where it's had a few minutes to dry and has not been coated as heavy. But then there's quite a few milky bits down here where the glue is still drying. I'm just gonna get the rest of the glue off or some of the glue off the rest of my brush, making sure I've got round these edges so that it doesn't get covered in gunk, because why not? So that is that one done. I'm gonna set that to the side on my side to dry so that I don't bash it while I go through and get these out. But first up, I'm gonna give this a wash so it doesn't dry. Drying. See, right, paintbrush is drying. So now it is a matter of showing you guys these paintings slash putting them away. So what I like to do with my 30 by 40 type paintings, I have picked up some more black card, is I use a sheet of A3 black card to mount them and then I tend to put them in the likes of my display book of which this one is getting rather full. 
I currently have three of these. Um, two of them are portrait, one of them is landscape and they tuck underneath my desk. So let's prep and stick one at a time so that you can see the paintings that I've completed. This one is a luminous dolphin painting. Let's see if I can use my trimmer actually for a couple of the edges. Because there's not, the diamonds aren't getting too much in the way. It might help me get a straighter edge, though I don't know if I can do it on the long edge. It's not gonna fit on the long edge. Okay, scissors it is for the long edge. Keep the trimmer handy because I might be able to use it on future ones. I haven't got anything out for this, though I do know where the stuff is I need for the rest of this. It's only some double-sided tape. So what I like to do is cut round. I don't put these in my logbook for special diamond paintings as completed ones. What I may end up doing, especially if I get another display book, which I'm thinking I might need to by the time I pack all these away, is I might do a display book just for the special diamond paintings and move those into it. Mm -hmm. So then, um, if I do want to see what special diamond paintings I've got, I can. Um, but I've cut all the excess border, etc., off. And I like to put double-sided tape on the back. Now, this isn't the toughest, like, solution for sticking down a canvas to paper. It will stick to the paper or the cardstock a lot better than it will to the canvas itself. But it is enough to keep it in place in the book. So once I'm happy with the placement, I then tend to lift up at least sort of one side, top or bottom, and as you can see, the double-sided tape is quite happy to peel off the canvas. It will stick, but it won't stick greatly. It sticks a lot better to the card, but it is enough for me to handle the display book move the paintings about from display book to display book if I decide I want to rearrange. It like holds it enough for all of that. It just wouldn't, I wouldn't, probably wouldn't, like I don't know how well it would stand up to it if I decided to just hang this piece of card up on the wall with the painting attached to it, I do think eventually the painting would possibly come away. I'm having right trouble getting hold of the double-sided tape. There we go. And this keeps ripping. And I'm pretty sure this is some Hobbycraft double-sided tape that I still had in my adhesive spin. Okay, that'll do. Let's make sure that goes down, flattening it as much as I can. You can always put more on if you want it to go flatter. You could do all the way around the side, especially on some of these partials where you don't do the whole lot. So first one we have is the Luminous Dolphins with the googly eyes. So that's one that I did. Not the only one, but it's one that I did. Okay, so I need to be able to access this. They also want to have a place to put those. So let's put those on top that are done. And then I can still slide a piece of card out. Uh, this card has also been picked up from the range, uh, which is the same place I get my display books. Tends to be about $3.99 for a pack. I think it has 25 sheets so occasionally this doesn't cut very well if the diamonds are very close 
with my trimmer. But if I can get it to work with my trimmer, it's normally a neater cut, unless my blade's having a right party. Now I have got some diamonds really close to this edge. Oh, that cut it okay. Sometimes I need to just trim it with my scissors a little bit when it comes to that. Now, this is down as a 30 by 30. It is a little bit smaller than a 30 by 30, but if I hold that up there, it's not enough to get both, uh, to get two on there. So I might actually level this one a little bit further up. Just, why not, a little bit of a change. Let's push those down and then go for a little bit further up. I'm just trying to get my edges around there, right? And then if I do find that I've got some really small one that I want to add in, I can do. And then get my first part off and keeping my hand on this so that it stays in the right place. And then say so it's enough to hold it and sort of pick up the card, but it won't take a lot of beating. It, it will peel off if I really want it to. But it's definitely enough, enough sticky for the purposes of keeping it in its right position in my display book. Um, you can do it so that you stick them double sided um, so that you put one painting on one side of the cardstock and another painting on the other side. I prefer to have one per piece of cardstock. That is a personal preference for me and that is so that I can move them about if I want to. So if I decided that I wanted to frame this one or maybe somebody really liked it and I wanted to gift it to them, I wouldn't have to be messing about taking off, you know, another um, another painting off the back or transferring it onto another piece of card. Or, as I say, if I do end up getting another display book and decide I want to keep all my special paintings together, I can slip them out of the book and move them over really easily. There's actually quite a few square ones on this one. Uh, tend to get quite a few 30 by 40s, in, or 30 by 30s, sorry, in special diamond paintings. This one was fun to do. So this one has got different size ones. It's got some pearls and things. Um, I did a, a mixture of picking ones I fancied doing. Um, I got people in the house to pick ones that they liked. Uh, I think sometimes I even just started the one on the top. So whatever was on the top of all my special diamond paintings was the one I did next. It completely varied um, according to mood, really. But... Yeah, I've, I've, I've got quite a few done and there's quite a few special diamonds to de-kit, which as I say will be another, another video. I might just try two lots of double-sided tape on these small ones just to save my sanity of peeling off double-sided tape all the time because it obviously doesn't like it with my gel nails it's nowhere near as easy since I have actually painted my nails and started doing them myself which I'm getting better but I still need practice but the double-sided tape is not as nice uh, are coming off. I could just use a craft knife actually. Maybe I should get a small craft knife and use that to do it. But I tend to suffer first before I finally find a tool that will do the job better. 
you know what, there's a little bit of that that didn't peel off, but it's enough to stick, it doesn't move. That's what I need. So that was the fruit. It's a bit like, um, it's one of those images that looks like a quilling image. Then I have this heart tree, which has got little mini hearts as well as standard rhinestones. I was mixing it up quite a bit with some of these. And I don't have many special paintings left. If you watched my uh, logbook update video, because they are, the special diamond paintings are in my logbook in the fact that I do have them detailed in my stash section of the logbook and I do mark down the date that I complete them so that when I do the actual paintings so I think these were March no May May of 2022 um, so I have it marked down that I completed them then but I don't do a full logbook page with the image you know off the website and then the image, a picture of them once I've completed them I don't tend to do that side of things because I just I don't think it needs that much detail for paintings that I tend to do in a in you know an hour or two or sometimes three depends how many it can it can really vary quite a lot on special diamond paintings depending on how many diamonds are on it plus then where would I draw the line I could end up doing it on uh off the canvas items so I could end up putting all those on as well and I would just feel as though yeah a project could take longer to document than it could take to complete so I drew the line at special diamond paintings plus while you'll find that it can take a long time before I do a special diamond painting that I may have decided to keep in my stash when I do decide to get one out and do one, uh, it's normally because, you know, I'm not yet ready to, or I'm not yet able to film to pick up a painting. I'll do a special diamond painting as a in-between project until I get ready to film a kitting up. If I've completed a diamond painting quicker than I thought, I'll do it then. Um, or yeah so that tends to be when I do them but I tend to do them in bulk then so these were done you know because I, I wasn't up for filming any kitting up of sorts slash I wanted a change from doing the flying feathers painting and I did loads of them I did a huge batch of special diamond paintings because I wanted to diamond paint and special diamond paintings are a little bit different, they're a little bit fun and to me they're easy to just grab, grab the diamonds and I tend to do one diamond colour at a time. There's no kitting up, there is kitting down because I need to put the diamonds away, but there's no kitting up involved, there's no preparation beforehand, I grab, you know, my diamond painting pen, my tray, potentially my tweezers depending on which painting it is and I just go sit at my table and I just do I just do them so quite often I find myself going on a little mini run of special paintings <coughs> and therefore um, yeah I find I go through quite a few and I just I don't want to be documenting that every two seconds this one turns out gorgeous I thought this one would make a lovely potential wedding gift if you could find a really nice frame for this this would look amazing as a wedding gift but for now it's going on the black card I've just noticed that under my 
special diamond paintings is my Admiral Zest logo paintings, which is why it felt very, very, a, a very thick wad of paintings, because it has my Admiral Zest logo ones as well. But you know what? While I'm here, I've got my cardstock, I've got my tape, when I finish with my special diamond paintings, I'm just I'm I'm gonna stick I'm gonna stick them down onto card while I'm here. I didn't have enough card. I think when I de-kitted them, I needed to pick up another pack. I did remember to pick up another pack from the range when I was there last. I didn't pick up a display book though, and I think I need to. So I'll put these away afterwards. I'm gonna need to do some rearranging, I think. But we're still going on the specials. Here's another one. Oh, there's also, I've got the little daisy from Diamond Art Studio as well. This is turning into a proper cleanup mission. Because I need to put that away as well. And I'll tell you the reason why when I get into it. Let's deal with this one. This girl was so stunning. I just, I don't know, it just... It popped. It just popped at me. It's called Flower Girl, this one. And I just think it looks really nice. Okay, let's get you stuck on a piece of black card. Good job it has about 25 sheets, isn't it? Because I am going through them. Going through some tape as well. But that's okay. I know I know a shop that sells double-sided tape. I'll just pinch it out of stock. Uh, okay. A little bit further down. I know I'm doing quite a lot of these up the top. But that's working for me for now. Okay, come on. I think I'm still straight. I felt like it might have moved a little bit then, but now I think we're still looking good. So this this pile that I have these paintings in, I think has picked up other paintings that were needing to be dealt with. But that is all the special paintings that I got completed while I was off. Um, the completed stickers. Oh, let's let's do some of those because I feel like the special paintings need those more than others. So in with my logbook stuff, I have, so these are extra logbook pages, but then I do have stickers further back and I have completed stickers. So these are about the paintings, uh, date, start, finish, purchase details, notes. And I feel like for the special paintings, this would be nice to do. So let me just pull out those because that's where I'm going to find all my information that I need. I need that one as well. You see my little canvas labels that I use on the canvas? That's what tells me. Okay, this is the nearest pen. That, that's what tells me where I got them from. So here's this first one. So heart tree, heart tree. It was finished and started in May, 2022. And it was from up to DIY. And the information's on there for pretty much everything I need. I could add more notes. I don't think I need them on this one. This is where I need to move it into into full shot because the camera can tell me whether I prefer it there or underneath. I think I might go for, let's try there. A bit like an art gallery is what I'm thinking. You know, they have a little plaque with the information on. I'm going to go for that. 
So that was Heart Tree, which is that one. That's my rubbish. So let's put those for the putting away of diamonds session, which is not today. Um, what else? Oh, I'm not. Oh, is that fruit? That's fruit. I thought, I think these ones, these loose ones, are for the wine plaque that I've just, um, just sealed. And that's okay. That doesn't need a completed sticker. Uh, so date started, finished was May 2022. I don't need to know when. It is interesting or to me it is at least, to know where it's from. So this one is from DIY Choose. And the reason, I think the reason that's interesting for me is because I have links, or at least if they're still active, I have links to all of these paintings that I've been sent on a big spreadsheet. So I can then pull the details of the actual painting if I need to. So this one is B, very imaginative with my titles, am I not? Just called B. Uh, and this one is from Fan Cells. No, okay, let's try spelling Fan Cells, right? So that's details there. I don't think I've got anything special to say about any of them but if I did I could add that on. So let's not write on top of the diamonds. So this one is Luminous Dolphins. Again this was May 2022 and this one was also Fan Cells. So that was also them. This one will have to overlap a little bit. So let's make sure it overlaps enough to look intentional. That's that one. This one I've quite simply called Bride. So Bride, uh, May 2022. This one was also fan cells. I mean, it's not surprising. I do have lots of paintings from fan cells. I'm gonna pop this one this side because I don't want to bring it up to the top because that's where your eye automatically goes. I want you to see the painting more than where it's from. I could potentially move that one to the back, but I definitely don't want it up the top. Um, so I'm going for tucked in the bottom corner. Let's throw those diamonds in for then. And then we've got Flower Girl. Flower Girl, May 2022. And that one was also Fan Cells. So there is a few special diamond paintings in my stash still. Not too many though. But I did get bored of doing special diamond paintings only. So I did take a, I did stop. I did end up kitting up something else. Uh, I think it was the flamingos actually then next. So those stickers, uh, this is one of the A5 bags that the log book extras come in. I've just cut the top off. But just to show you, this is the My Stash one. So I have a My Stash log book. And I have a section for special diamond paintings. And it just has the list of the paintings. So you can see there's six that I completed all in May 2022. And then I have four left. So I have four left in my stash at the moment. And I did a batch of six all together. So I've done more than half of what I have in my stash. But that's fine because... It probably will be a bit before I potentially pick out some more. It's not often I do six all at once. Um, 
it just happened to be because I wasn't well enough to kit up to do a video to kit up another one. I think I did so many, but they will get added to over time. If I feel they're getting too low, I'll add to them. So that is my special diamond paint sorted. I will show you where the glue is up to. But while we're here, and while these were in the pile, there's a couple of things. So this one, I kept this back when I finished it because I was going to try a tip and trick on it. And the idea was to try and get rid of the stuff from around the side. I think it was this one I tried on. Um, and somebody said alcohol and stuff can work to get the stuff off from around the side. Didn't work for me at all. So, therefore, that didn't become a tip and trick because it didn't work. I tried like the nail varnish stuff as well. Now, it could just be the quality of the canvas that makes a difference. And it could be that this is too high a quality for that. I don't know. But I do, if I remember rightly, and I could be wrong because I'm sure... I finished this painting probably about a year ago. It's not even in my logbook. Like, my logbook is more... Oh, no, it is in my logbook, sorry. Um, it's like one of the first ones I think I marked down as being completed in my logbook. So it's been about a year that this one has been done. I'm pretty sure I had another small painting and I put them both on the same piece of... Or well, the plan was to put them both on the same piece of card. So I'm going to grab my book and have a look. But I needed to cut round it. So I think it's in my landscape book. That's my full portrait book. So is this my landscape book? This is my landscape book. So the idea is I wanted to be able to open it and look at all the paintings without having to keep twisting the book. So I'm pretty sure, because there's two together, for example, that I have... Oh, I thought I had one. Oh, I had one that could go with it, and I didn't stick it on the card because it was waiting for this one. Unless I did it in the portrait. Hang on. I have too many books about now. It was here. It was this one I was going to put it with. Because that was my AB one from Row Diamonds. So I was going to put this one with it. So that one must be waiting for another landscape one. Okay. So that's waiting for another small landscape. So let's pop that back in the sleeve because it is best to wait because then I can line them up right. If I end up doing another one that small. So let's put that away. And then here, let's take this one out. What I'm not sure if I've, if I've done on this book is this book will hold, holds I think 20 pages, 20 clear pages. And on the last book that I had, I cut 10 out of the middle because it made it too thick if I kept them all in. And I don't think I've done it on this one. Okay, we're truly sorting my life out now, so bear with me. So this is the middle. I haven't cut any out. So one, two, three, four, and then I actually want this one as well. Five. Because it's a book with 20 sleeves, but I actually want to take it down to 10 sleeves. And some people may be like, huh, what? But under my desk, because it's actually between my desk and my storage under my desk, I have a gap between the two. 
and the gap has been made primarily for things like my paper trimmer to sit so that I have that sort of extra long storage. So my desktop is attached to, the wood is attached to the wall and I have a gap. It so turns out, even though it was primarily for my trimmer, it since has turned out that it is the ideal place for these books. However, this one that's finished, this has had pages cut out. If I put in double that amount, the book would be like this. I don't like the book like that. I like the book to be a little bit chunky, but not too chunky. So that's why I take pages out. So if you think this is sacrilege, then just look away. One, two, three, four, five. And then that should leave five back there. It does. I can count. So this is not the neatest cut in the world. If I try to use a knife, because I think I tried to use a knife last time. Um, if I couldn't get a craft mat in far enough to not damage the pages underneath. And once it's got diamond paintings in, you really don't notice it. Okay. The extra pages are out. Next time, I will do that as soon as I get the book. So let's put some of these back in and let's try and sort my life out now. So I'm gonna put the book upside down. It's not that the camera's flipped, it's that the book is upside down. Because a fun fact, just to throw you a fun fact, because why not? My camera actually does record me upside down when it records. I actually have to flip the whole video on its head before I edit it and put it up to YouTube's because it does film upside down. So I've actually turned this around <laughs> on purpose, but I'm not sectioning it off to do it again because my ha if, I t if I don't turn it around, my hands look very weird coming in from a different angle. So while we're here, before I fix the diamond paint and the daisy in, because I'm not fussed about which order these go in. At the moment, I say I might split, split the special diamond paintings, but if I do, I need another book for that. So at the moment, let's get these diamond paintings in a safe place. It's only occasionally I like certain ones to be together. So for example, the logo ones that I have yet to put in the book, I would want those together because it's a comparison between the two. But for these, I'm not precious and I'm actually not going to be able to get the logo ones in anyway because I think I filled my book. Oh, the logo ones are portrait uh, landscape. So I might be able to fit them in. So let's get that one in there. And this is what you'll see now about my full book. This just needs that daisy painting in now. But look, it's already full. Imagine if that was twice the same again. It's just too thick for my liking. Okay, let's stick Daisy down. A little sidetrack there. I wasn't expecting to pull out my full display books and slip all stuff in. I was expecting to find that battle on the floor with a dog in my way um, when I finish this video, but I'll take it. Right, I do have a stalk on this daisy, so I need to pay attention. So do I want it there? What do I want? See, I could put it there and I could potentially put two completed stickers because I actually know where they're both from. I don't know if my logbook will tell me when they were both completed though. 
I'm sure the daisy is written in my stash list, but it's not got its own logbook page, I think. I think it was right when I first started doing the logbooks. I'll have a look in a minute, because I'll need to get my stickers out anyway. And I don't put stickers on all of them. I only put stickers on some of them. Partly because I didn't have those stickers when I first started doing diamond painting. Because we've only designed them since. Okay, I was going to move that down a bit, but the double-sided tape decided it was sticking. So who's to argue? Let me see if this one is in there. So it's a round, small one. Okay, I've just got Daisy and a tick has completed. Okay, so it's not wrong, it is completed, but it doesn't tell me when. YouTube might tell me when. YouTube probably will. But for now, let's just pop the basic information. So this is a, this was a mystery. Mystery. And then I'll put chick because it is now a chick. Uh, this one was from Row Diamonds. Row Diamonds. And this one was All AB Diamonds. All AB, All AB Drills. Let's put that because then it's a little bit different. And then this one is Daisy. This one was from Diamond. I've just cut it off. Diamond Art Studio. I should know. I have enough of those paintings, of their paintings. Diamond Art Studio UK. Uh, and this was one of their sample, sample paintings. I don't know if they still do them actually, but you could get uh, a sample in a round and a sample in a square for just five pounds. Uh, which was great if you wanted to try diamond painting or maybe even if you just wanted to try the quality of their painting you should have that option I don't think they do them anymore though. I don't know let's have a look because it was fun the only reason I didn't get the sample one of the square was because it was a cat and I'm not a cat person uh, because I'm allergic and they make me sneeze and bring me out with big puffy eyes and all the rest of the nasties. <laughs> okay, my book is still upside down on purpose because that is the easiest way to get these in. So let's pop those two in as the finale page. See, I'm going to finish this video and be fully tidied up. Okay, that is my portrait display book number two. So these have in them at least 20 paintings. Uh, so while I leave 10 of these in there, they're double-sided. Some of them have more, as in that last one that actually has um, two on one page, but they have at least 20 paintings in them. Look at, look at that, that's, that's glue residue. I'll deal with that later. Uh, okay, so next, I need to do these two. Um, I didn't put these away because I only had one sheet of card and I didn't want to stick them back to back. I'm pretty sure that was the reason. So I'm going to cut these down. Now normally if I was framing this or if I was mounting this on mount board I would be quite fussy about those black bits there. However, I use black card in my display books. You can get white card, but I use black because black hides a multitude of sins. So it will hide these edges um, and it shouldn't make them as visible unless I have a load of the black and then a batch of the white. But I'll see that when I put it down on it in a minute. I think I'm going to have to degunk my scissors. These are scissors I use when packing orders. But I'm getting more glue gunk off 
the canvases that I'm getting, then I get off tape. <laughs> And we use paper tape now. We're slowly but surely moving as, as much of our packaging as possible eco-friendly. A lot of our uh, bags that your stickers come in, especially the A4 ones, because that's the easiest size for us to be able to get, are now the eco bags. Um, so while they are still plastic, and they do need to be, because who wants stickers to turn up wet? You know, we have to outweigh the risks. We have gone eco with them. So they do um, biodegrade quicker um, than normal plastic. Uh, we've also gone to paper tape with our cardboard boxes. So it's all recyclable, etc., etc. Um, but in turn, if I have to get back to the point if we have um gunked up stickers it just catches on the outside of the tape and it's it's a little bit entertaining so i will need to degunk these as soon as i've finished in fact maybe i should just do it in this video and then when i am completely done i am completely done now, I'm not using my trimmer for these paintings because these are full drill. So I am dealing with glue because this is a poured glue, even on a double sided tape one, to be honest. Um, the glue does overhang the diamond painting area, not by a lot, but it does by a little bit, which means I'm cutting through glue with these scissors. <coughs> and believe me, that the blade on that Fiskars trimmer is so tiny, it would freeze up and wouldn't work for any of my kitting up, etc., 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 that I needed my trimmer for if I decided to try and run it through glue that wasn't covered. I am sure I would be sending that blade to its grave if I did that. So trimmer, don't need any more. And of course, I've put the display board back in a slightly different place. There we go. It, I'd slid it over underneath so my trimmer wouldn't go back where I expected it to. Okay, cardstock. I need two pieces of cardstock. And then I'm done with that. Let's just check. I don't need to trim any more off. I'm not seeing any big blobs of white on that one. I'm seeing a little bit on the bottom of this one. So it actually goes, it's got the black line and then it has a little bit of the white canvas showing. Two little spots. And of course, it's going to be awkward because scissors are covered in glue gunk. Let's try that. I think I've got them all. I've got them enough. So before I get this, love this stuff. Goo gone. Apart from trying to get in it. Oh, there we go. Can't, definitely can't do it over the desk because I'm on a standing desk so I can't get the downward angle the same. Uh, this is my good old faithful sort of lint free cloth that is just used for Goo Gone. Gets covered in loads of lovely sticky residue from everything that I Goo Gone stuff. But let's make these scissors as pretty as possible because I don't want to be fighting with them when packing orders and then while I have a little bit I think still on the cloth I'm just going to give this bit of the desk a wipe where I've picked up stuff from the canvases just make sure it's not got any more residue glue 
So the sticky stuff on the desk tends to come off with a standard cleaning cloth, which I will be doing. And then I tend to get a drier piece of the cloth and just wipe over it just to make sure that I've not got a load of goo gone residue. Okay. Ah, we're having a proper sort. Okay, tape. Let's see how long this double-sided tape will last now. Because this is a 30 by 40, I do want three strips. Two down the sides and a chunk in the middle. So that's one done. Will it last till the second? One. and a chunk in the middle we're on a little roll so let's pop my tape away pen and scissors away let's get these bad boys away and then we can have a look at how the glue is doing on the other one how the sealer's doing sorry so about there so I'm using my arm to keep one side down and then I'm just doing one edge and then with the full drill it's a lot easier to just let the weight of the diamonds flop and then it tends to just stick itself in the position it needs to stick itself in. So we'll get Come on. Next bit off. Just let that roll and flop. And then the final. Oh, I feel like I'm, I'm really getting my craft room a little bit more sorted now. Those paintings have just been sat on top of my spares boxes since May. <laughs> just sat there waiting, knowing that they need to be put away but knowing that I just did not have chance in June, it was one of the ones that I was going to, you know, prepare videos for July um, and be able to not have, you know, maybe have a week of videos ready so that I didn't have to do any videos for one week and in effect have a little bit of a rest. Nah, I got two done. <laughs> I got two videos done last week in June. Uh, you may have been able to spot which ones they are. But I got, because I didn't have my new rings and stuff. But yeah, I got two videos done in June for July. And that was it. So I still had uh, a full week's worth of videos to do at the weekend. But hey, it's a good job I do enjoy doing the videos. <clears throat> and I do feel like I got a little bit of a break in the fact that I didn't have to do a video each night for the following day. So it all worked out in the end. I had a couple of events in June with our silver wedding anniversary and my son's 21st. So in effect, it was two big events to, to do. Um so any forward planning was to cover for those events, not to cover for July. July can wait. So July did. But it's all good. Camera. It's just saved my memory card again, which means my battery is going to go soon. So let's get these away in the hope that it will last. So this is the Admores S comparison in round versus square. This needs to go into my landscape one which i'm forgetting which one that was again it's this one tucked in the corner because i do more portrait than i do landscape let's turn it upside down because it's easier for me to slot them in and i should have space or is this one full oh no hang on i did this one backwards i thought i had no spare sleeves then um so yeah, when I first started my book, I had landscape in the back 
and portrait in the front. So when I got a second book and moved the portrait, I left the landscape in the back. Um, I did cut out those pages in the middle though, so I have done it on this one. Now, because I want these to be together, I'm going to leave that to then have a twin whenever it gets a twin. And I'm going to bob these in and they need to be this way up. I'm going to do square on this page because square's my favourite. And I think even though when you open the book, this is the top one, I think this is the one that catches your eye first. It's like when you're flipping through a photo album. If, you, if, you, if I put it the right way up, this is the one that catches your eye first before this one when you're looking at photos. So I think when you open this, this is going to be the one that catches your eye and that's my favourite. And then the other one's also going to be there. And if you look at them the other way around, what does it matter? Okay. Da dun dun. Da dun dun dun. I need another display book. Goodness knows where it's going to go, but I need another one. Um, but let's have a look. So this has been sealing for the length of this video, which is probably over 40 minutes, 40, 50 minutes. It has dried. There is still a, a very slight amount of tacky, uh, but that's just the last part of it drying. Um, but it has all the, the milky look has gone. So to me, that is still shining. I'm trying to put it in my studio lights in multiple different ways to see if you can still see. But to me, that is just as shiny as it was before. Um, and hopefully it's reflecting the same. But that one is all sealed. I'm probably gonna hang this up on one of my little hangers, probably just in front of Zesty Wolf, just for a little bit while it dries completely because I wouldn't want to knock it and in this craft room that can so easily happen um, depending on what I'm working on but yeah special paintings are away painting sealed I've even got some older paintings away I'm feeling extremely productive I know that I need to go shop into the range for another book so yay I get to browse and yeah all of that can only be good things. So do join me tomorrow. I uh, Tomorrow's video, I'm going to get all those diamonds away. Uh, basically get the special diamonds broken down. Um, and I will be doing them all together because I do them different to my DMC numbers. So join me tomorrow and see how I break down special diamonds and get them away on rhinestones and keep them safe. And of course, stay tuned for the rest of the week because we're just mixing it up and we've got all sorts coming up. So thank you so much for joining me um, and I'll speak to you all again soon.